Finally made one. <laughs> What's up, peeps? Ben! Mr. Toombs! What's up? stuff you don't see when I edit. <laughs> You're off work all week. I'm on call all week. And I get to work late tomorrow. But for some goofy reason, and it's Miss Penny's fault, I have all this built up energy. Looks like it. I gotta get it worked out with Yamez. And then I got to do some saving, but the woman has said we'll hopefully be ordering the tickets within the next week or two.
No, you ain't gonna miss Mrs. B and B. <laughs> but she is the keeper of the money, so. <laughs> Luca, yeah, it's a piece of leaf spring. I cut off about a 12 inch piece. So I'm assuming it's 5160. That's what everybody keeps telling me. Sorry, Yamez is hitting me up. Sorry. Still getting used to this thing. <laughs> the 
Sorry, Mr. Allen, I don't keep mine at Anvil Height. <laughs> Jason. Hey, Lufa, Lufa. I'm still waiting on your email, even Lufa. Unless you sent it today and I didn't check my emails, which is fully possible. Okay. And I was hoping you was gonna be in here the other day. I was gonna make my kid talk to you. He's learning Spanish, but I think he's fooling me.
Sometimes I think I forget my own head if it wasn't attached. Where the hell did I set my water? Starbucks is very expensive. I only go there to get crack. I can't tell you how many times in a day I lose my phone tunnels. <laughs> I gotta leave it like that so I just don't forget to turn it down. Apparently, I heard from a cameraman. He's been at the beach swimming all day, laying in the sand. And I don't smoke crack, Alan. I drink it. Thomas, last time I lost the phone and it didn't return is because it went to the bottom of the lake. <laughs>
got a little wiggle in the tang. Bye, Luffy. A 14 year old kid, well, almost 14 year old kid, when you tell him a cleaver knife, just say he has an idea, he thinks of video games. He wanted it this big. <laughs> but I said, nay, nay. I got a fan that blows on the back of my phone to keep it from overheating. I just, it keeps falling. The funny part is, is one of the guys I hunt with has seen the picture if it wants it. <laughs> so I may have to see if <laughs> how it turns out. Because I need money. Unfortunately, that's all I had left to do on that. I am going to be making some bottle openers, so if y'all want to stick around, stick around. But this thing's ready to start grinding and 
my equipment is old and noisy. But I think I can grind it straight. <laughs> you can make you a big old giant cleaver, <laughs> Miss Penny. Hello, Billy. Thank you, Thomas. I had not worked with leaf springs since I made my, as Alan called it, my buoy. And I forgot how much that stuff does not like to move. So, getting that daggone tang where I wanted it was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I am still not good with the bottle openers. At least not the way everybody does the church key ones. I, I'm almost about ready to give up on them. up in here now I'm really lost because I knew where everything was sitting and then I moved it and it's disorientating I need to get some better lights in here too much rain belly this is what we've been working on Oh, and Alan, I'm going to be trying to make marcotta again. I'm going to do the paper, but I'm kind of doing something me and you had discussed. Now if I can figure out where the hell I put it. Oh, 
Um, uh, I'm gonna mix it in the bag. And I'm gonna leave it in the bag. And I'm gonna see if I can get this paper to work. I know I can get the cloth. But I got a brand new bag, brand new can of uh, fiberglass resin. Yeah, I thought about that, and the girlfriend said I wasn't using it for that. I even gave her my sad face. It didn't work. She just laughed at me. Come on. Ah. Come back. Sorry about that. I just got hit up for some open side work. <laughs>
y'all gotta remember, I'm a big old kind of goofy kid. Hey, to day. Sorry, crappy camera work. and it looked funny. My neighbors hate me because I'm an ex-cop. The fact that I forged this time of night, then I don't think they care. So actually, I'm very lucky in the fact that they all say they can't hear me. Grayson, I don't doubt that either. I have given out a few bottle openers.
Eric. Oh. I swear. Just I hope I'm not. See you, Billy. Why is it when I sit something so it'd be easy to find it makes it that much harder? Oh, and Alan, I showed, uh, I sent James a picture of the logo I came up with. He approved it. So I've got it up on Instagram and I've already worked it into the starter of my new screen. I'll have to share it so everybody else can see it. Yes, it is, and Uncle Murphy loves to kick me in the, well, there's a lady present. Yeah, that would be it, Miss Penny. Although down here, uh, just, I know in the south we call it the uh, bowls. I know it's childish, but one of my favorite movies was Major League. And it wasn't the first one. I want to say it was the second one when they were back in the minors. 
and the Asian guy was messing with one of them and he couldn't figure out how to say balls so he kept telling him one of the guys he had no marbles makes me laugh every time
I thought I got up early. Thank you, sir.
See the face? Fair warning, watch is.
That hopefully you can see it better. That mark was actually on there. It looks kind of funny. It looks like a cricket nose. Yeah, I know I do. Gonna get loud again. I forgot something. I did go by a set of punches.
grab the hands. Now I find the big. First thing stamped. <laughs> you probably can't see it. I think you kind of can. Think about it, y'all didn't see the front of this one. I started making these because my cousin married an Aussie. And I didn't know if I could make him a blade to send back to Australia when they came and visited uh, the 4th of July. 
So I made him what I called, I really wish I had better light. I called it a Tasmanian bottle, a devil bottle opener. He jokes and calls it the devil made me do it bottle opener. But kind of an evil face with a messed up mouth. This one only has one horn. I do do them also with two. Um, I'm just now getting to the point where I feel like they're good enough to start maybe selling those. I know, I know y'all have seen the herb choppers I do. I know those are, I guess what I know about, I'll be knocking out a bunch of, <laughs> and I gotta try to knock out one or two more hammers before quad state. Because if I'm going, there's a couple people I'm going to have to ask to try out one of my hammers. Um, I doubt either one of them's in here. I know one of them's texting the hell out of it on the quad state thing. But I am going to ask James if he would be willing to try one and give me an honest feedback. And I may ask... Tim from Big Dog Forge, but since they're both going to be there, that means my butt's got to get in gear if I'm going now and get a second one or at least another one or two knocked out, depending on how many I get knocked out may depend on how many I bring, but I don't plan on bringing them home. I'm trying to find people to try them out, so I still am in shock that y'all would be willing to help me out like y'all did, so thank y'all. Thank you, Miss Penny. And I'm definitely gonna have to thank Yamez so, um, for it. Me and him have already been back and forth on when and where so that I can put in my time off request tomorrow morning since I need 30 days notice and I'm cutting it close. <laughs> But my bosses are cool, so they know me anyway. I'll just call out sick. I'm senior in my department. I've been with the company for 15 years, and I'm a grouchy old fart, and they've just learned to deal with me. Who knows, Alan, if I get a couple made, you might go home with one. If I can get some extra ones knocked out. There's still a couple of y'all I'd still, whether or not y'all are big time feedback. I can still get some feedback from anybody. So, we'll see. Lots of work to get done between now and then. So, 30 days and counting and a lot of work to get done. So. All right, well, it is nine o'clock here. I know it's nine where Alan is, and Miss Penny, it's got to be pushing, what, three? So. Oh, we're getting it all worked out. And like I said, my bosses know me but enough when I ask off for time because I'm so rare about it that they actually yell at me because between my vacation and my sick days I get five weeks a year then I get a floating holiday we get 14 paid holidays my boss is already mad because basically taken off from the week before Thanksgiving almost through the end of the year um, with all our holidays that we get I'm burning 10 days and I'm getting 27 off between November and December so Hey! Well, thank you, Mr. James. Well, since you're in here and you kind of know that I'm going, I, I, I'm going to put it out there. 
I have a hammer here that I would really like for you to try out and I will be bringing it with me so that you can get it. Um, let me know if you want me to put the handles that I built it for on it or if you would rather put your own handle because mine aren't, I don't think as long as yours. But I would be really honored if you would be willing to try mine out to give me some feedback, man. Will do then. Like I said, I'm, I've been happy with the one I made, but being a newbie, I really haven't swung one that's been made by, you know, other than store-bought ones, so I don't know how or where I need to improve, so one thing I've always learned from work is you got to go with somebody who's got a whole lot more experience, and that doesn't matter if it's two weeks, ten years, if they got some, a trick you don't, that's a trick you don't know. Can't believe all of y'all are popping in. <laughs> that's awesome because I'd love to see it done up front. Um, that's one thing I've learned about doing the guild meetings that I joined. Um, it's one thing to watch y'all do it, and it's nothing that I mean, I've learned a lot, but getting somewhere where I can be face to face to live like a live stream but <laughs> no delay and right there I can I, I learn by hands on I guess that's that old school man working <laughs> kicked in the butt work ethic that my dad put in me Nice. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to help at anybody while we're there. So, I think I'm going to go in and drink me a nice cold beer. If I have one. If not, I might be making a bourbon and coke. <laughs> so. I'm going to shut it down, guys. I appreciate all y'all coming down. So, well, I don't know if James saw it, but hang on. This was the original project. I've been working on it on a couple streams. It's going to be fun when I'm done with it, but... <laughs> That's a lot of hammering on a leaf spring. <laughs> hey, the 14 year old wanted it that big. He wanted me to use, he wanted this. <laughs> I told him no. Yeah, kind of a competition chopper S. One of the guys at work laughed and saw it and called it a short sword. <laughs> yeah, you know how them kids are. <laughs> so, but y'all have a good one, and I will catch y'all on the next one. I'm excited as hell that Quad State is an actual go, so <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs>